So, first is we go to the first provision of the law, which is the definition of the law on partnership itself. So, what is a partnership? Okay, partnership is defined under Article 1767. Okay, you can find there the definition. It states that by the contract of partnership, two or more persons bind themselves to contribute money, property, or industry to a common fund with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves. Okay, I just want to remind you. I just want to remind you that the Article 70, 1767 of the New Civil Code has two paragraphs. So, that is the first paragraph of your Article 1667. The second paragraph is two or more persons may also form a partnership for the exercise of a profession. So, we go to the concept of partnership and the elements of a partnership so generally there are three important elements of a partnership okay first there must be a meeting of the minds okay number two there must be a common fund and the intention to divide the profits and the losses among the contracting parties before going to the elements i just want to define to you okay that I just want to inform you that there are also other definitions of what is a partnership. According to the Uniform Partnership Act, okay, and the other legal definitions, so remember that the law on partnership of the Philippines is patterned po yan sa American law. So, American law is a common law. In Philippines, hindi po tayo common law. So it's just a pat it's just pattern to the common law of the American American laws. So accordingly a partnership is also a is an association of two or more persons who carry out okay a business for profit as co-owners. Okay? It is also a legal relation based upon the express or implied agreement of two or more competent persons and these persons of course they unite their property labor or skill in carry, carrying out some lawful business as principles okay it is also an organization for production of income to which each partner contributes one or both of the ingredients of income which are capital or service. It is likewise a joint understanding to share in the profit and loss. If you go over sa mga definitions na to, pare-pareho lang ang common elements. Okay? And these are the three tong naka-flash sa screen natin. So, please take note of those three. You, you are, uh, I'm permitting you to take a screenshot of the, the topics provided here. Okay? So, what are the features of, ano bang pinagkaiba ng elements sa features? Okay? Later on, you, you will know that an element is the most important, okay? Important matters in a contract of partnership. Ang features is more of the description or the descriptive part of that element. So, later on, kung papatanong ko sa inyo, what are the elements? Okay, you can either choose to define, uh, to enumerate the three or the five which is already flashed in your screen. Okay, kasi mas importante ito. Ito, mas na-chop-chop na. Okay, yung elements. Ito, tong limang ito. So, going... For a while po. Saglit lang. One minute. Uh, before that, hindi ko alam kung naririnig nyo ako. Naririnig nyo ba ako ngayon? Naiintindihan nyo naman yung discussion? Yes, 
Sige, baka natapos ko na mamaya yung discussion. Eh. Hindi pa, pa hindi nyo pala ako naririnig, no? Sige, I'll proceed. But before that, please uh, give me 30 seconds to reply. May importante lang. 30 seconds, wait po. Dad, baka may tatawag sa'yo. May bibigay lang daw. Okay, we proceed. First is that there must be a valid contract. Okay? When we say valid contract, Tagalog natin para mas maintindihan natin. Dapat meron po valid, con na may legal na kontrata. Ano ba tong sinasabing legal na kontrata ito? Let's proceed in this first element. Okay? First, you should have, if you remember your uh, elements of a contract in your obligations and law on obligations and contracts. Okay? There are three important elements Wait lang po kasi hindi sinasagot yung tawag. Sagot lang po. Sorry, sorry. Sin. If you remember your obligations and contracts, there are three elements of a contract. Okay? The COC, consent, object, and your consideration. Okay? Always remember that a contract of partnership is essentially consensual in nature. Meaning, there must be a consent of two, at least two parties. Okay? Kasi it's a partnership. Hindi ka naman pwede magkipartner sa sarili mo. Okay? There must at least two consenting parties. Remember, okay, that partnership is a voluntary relation created by the agreement of the parties. Okay? Kasali ba dito, ma'am, yung mga religious society, yung mga conjugal partnerships, if you remember your law on property, okay, hindi ko alam kung natapos yun, ah. Okay, you have the so-called conjugal partnership. It is one of the, um, tawag nito, uh, arrangement Okay? Uh, prop arrangement of marriage settlement sa, sa mag-asawa. Okay? Kasali ba itong mga to of those with similar nature sa isang contract of partnership? The answer, there is no. Okay? It is, it, those are excluded. Religious societies, conjugal partnerships, and others of similar natures are not included as they are not created by the express or implied contract of the parties. Remember po, dapat is hindi sa pilitan ang pagbuo ng contract of partnership. It, na, it must not be created by reason that they are following a law. Okay? Not, not because they are following an ordinance. Okay? Remember na ang pagbuo ng isang partnership is because of the consent, voluntary consent of the parties. So, for example, okay, there is a law, okay, na, for example lang, okay, mandating you to enter into a partnership. Okay, is that law valid? Okay, that law is invalid because it can it will now illegally force a person to join something or to associate himself. Okay? Na kahit kung pwede, dapat it must be voluntary, hindi dapat sa pilitan. Okay? So, under the law, it excludes from its concept all other associations which do not have their origin in a contract. Okay? There is no such thing as a partnership Tandaan nyo to, sulat nyo to. There is no such thing as a partnership created by law or by operation or implication of law alone. Okay? Tandaan nyo yun. 
walang partnership na nabubuo because of creation of it by mere creation of a law or by implication okay expressed or implied alone okay there it must be by the consensual voluntary consent of the contracting parties next is i will give you a situation so you please listen Si Arthur, bumili siya ng sasakyan. Toyota. Okay? Bumili siya ng second hand na sasakyan Toyota Fortuner. Sinabi ni Arthur sa best friend niya, si Benedict. Sabi niya, Ben, ibebenta ko tong sasakyan, yung kalahati ng profit, ibibigay ko sa'yo, pero kailangan ay ikaw ang mag-repair. Sabi niya, Si Ben, si Benedict, busy sa love life niya. Busy sa Valentine's Day. So, hindi tuloy siya, hindi niya na-repair yung sasakyan. Okay? So, ngayon, si Arthur nagmamadali. Hinire niya yung service ni Christopher, yung kapitbahay niya. And, this, similarly, okay? Sim similarly, they have that kind of arrangement half of the profit will be given to the repairman. Later on, the car was sold to Danilo. Okay? Question, was there a partnership between Arthur and Benedict? The answer, there is none. Okay? Even if there is a consideration, even if there is a consent, however, there is no, ay, sorry, even if there is consideration, there is an object, However, there is no consent. And what is that consent? Consent and affirmation from Benedict. Okay? How about Arthur and Christopher? Was there a partnership between Arthur and Christopher? The answer there is yes. Okay? Because the three elements, important elements in a, in a contract is, is are present. So, there is a consent, object, and consideration. Is Benedict, question, what is, what if the question is, is Benedict entitled to, to the profits? The answer there is, no. Obviously, because the condition and the, the condition in, in the contract, okay, and there is no consent from Benedict. Okay, question. This is the case. Okay? This is the case. I will give you another situation. But the same persons, para hindi kayo malito. Si Arthur naman, at saka si Brian. Let's say si Brian. Si Arthur at saka si Brian, pumasok sila sa isang agreement kung saan gagawa or bubuo sila ng partnership. Si Arthur, however, refused to comply with the agreement. Okay? Si Brian ngayon, nagalit. Pumunta siya ngayon sa abogado and as the help of the lawyer to compel Arthur for the execution of the contract of partnership. Question. Can or may Arthur be compelled okay okay may Arthur be compelled against his will to carry out the agreement okay or execute the partnership papers pwede mo bang pilitin si Arthur na mag na pumasok sa isang kontrata ng partnership at at i-push through to execute Yung mga partnership papers, pilitin mo siyang magpumirma. Is that allowed under the law? The answer there is no. That is the case of Woodhouse versus Halili. Okay? 83 Phil 526 year 1953. As early as 1953, the law, the Supreme Court of the Philippines already ruled, okay, that Okay? 
that is considered an act of violence. Okay? Under Article 1167, if you remember obligations and contracts, okay, Arthur has an obligation to do, okay, not to give in the given situation. The law recognizes the individual's freedom or liberty, ba? Kalayaan. The law recognizes the individual freedom or liberty to do and act as he has promised to do or not to do it as he pleases. Okay? The law considers the situation an act of violence. So, we proceed. The second element is the legal, the legal capacity. Remember, the under the law there are two kinds of persons. Okay, if you remember your persons and family relationship. Okay, this is another subject under the law. Okay, pa kayo sa na okay pa kayo ah. Kinig ka lang, makinig lang kayo. Okay lang kung may kasama kayo ngayon, kung may nasa date kayo, okay lang po yan. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. I-screenshot ko na lang. to mamaya makikita ko na lang may sumisilip pala dyan sa likod niya. At that's okay. Sabi niyo makinig na lang siya. Okay? So, yan. There are two kinds of persons under the law. Okay? We have your juridical persons. Okay? Ang example ng mga juridical persons, partnership, corporations, agencies, and the other type of person is a natural person. Ang natural person example is ako, sa akong tao, at isa, kayo rin, estudyante. Okay? Yung mga estudyante. Okay? The law on partnership is under a, is a, juridical person. So, it has a unique okay, unique characteristic under the law. It is a unique being under the law. So, before, before going that, I just want to first discuss the natural person. Of course, always remember that in a partner partnership, the one who are actually or the one who is actually or the persons actually okay working and forming a partnership is an individual okay are individuals i should say pwede bang sumali ang corporations ma'am sa partnership i will discuss that later on so first we go to individuals or natural persons. Okay? Under the law, everyone, anyone, or all, okay, can enter into partnership. That's the general rule. Basta makapagbigay po kayo ng consent. Okay? As long as you can give your consent, you are allowed to enter into the contract of partnership. Okay? Always remember that the word persons used in your article 1767 may be interpreted to mean persons in their biological sense. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo yung individuals or natural persons or persons in legal sense. Legal sense or yung juridical persons or juridical entities. Okay? Thus, remember, anong tawag ba? Ano bang tawag nyo sa mga taong kasali sa isang partnership? It's partner. Okay? Sino bang bumubo ng partnership? Those are yung mga partners. Okay? So, remember, a partner may be a human being, a partnership, a corporation, or a joint venture. Okay? We start with individuals. Before there can be a valid contract of partnership, lagi nyo itong tandaan, it is essential that the contracting parties 
have the necessary legal capacity to enter into the contract. As a general rule, okay, as a general rule, huwag kayong magsasawa sa salitang general rule at exemption because under the law, lagi pong maririnig at maririnig nyo yan. Okay? So, kung may tanong, okay, you always give us first the general rule if you answer as a general rule, ganun kayo. Kasi later on, paparesitin ko kayo isa-isa. So, uh, wag kayong mag-alala, hindi naman po ako terorista sa recitation, pero terorista ako sa assessment. Eh, magtanong na lang kayo kung anong nangyayari sa assessment sa mga ate at kuya ninyo kasi naiinis sila pag assessment. Ang nangyayari kasi hindi ko alam kung ilan kayo kasi wala pa yung listahan na hinihingi ko kay Sir Jeremiah. But, ang nangyayari po during, ang pinagkaiba ng recitation, ang recitation kasi may kasamang kaba. Okay, may kasamang kaba, hindi mo alam kung kailan ka matatawag. Okay? Pero mabait ako pag recitation. Pag assessment, fix yung score ninyo. 0 or 10. Ganun lang ang assessment. And assessment happens after um, at least 4 meetings or every end of the month. Okay? So, yan, malapit na end of the month. So, lista-lista ninyo yung mga sinasabi ko kasi ito, naman, ito at ito naman ang lalabas during assessment. And usually, ang assessment natin is that will be your score for your unit test. Okay? And, ang nangyayari dyan, there will be 10 students first who will answer followed by another 10 students and last. Usually, mga 5 to 10 questions. Again, 10 points each. Kaya kung mali ka na, zero. Automatic zero yun. Kung nakuha mo, di ten. Okay? Kung wrong spelling ka, pwede nine. Okay? So, depende yan, mga ganun. So, okay? So, always remember, as a general rule, any person, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, kahit sino, any person may be a partner, okay, who is capable of entering into contractual relations. Consequently, syempre, Okay? Any person, balik na rin naman natin, any person who cannot give consent, of course, cannot enter into a contract of partnership. He cannot be a partner. Okay? Lagi niyong tandaan. Basta makapagbigay ng consent, pwede pumasok sa contract of partnership. Balik na rin natin. Kung hindi ka pwede magbigay ng consent, okay, you cannot enter into contract of partnership. And who are these persons or who are those persons who cannot give their consent it is flashed on your screen okay flash on your screen who cannot give their consent first one is an unemancipated minor who is this sino ang batong sinasabi nating unemancipated minor sino to ato ngayon ko lang nadaanan tong salitang unemancipated okay ano nga ba to it's a legal word. Okay? An emancipated per minor. This is provided in your article 234 okay, of your civil code. Always remember this. Okay? Emancipation. Emancipation takes place by the attainment of majority. And the age of majority is 18. 18 years old. Okay? Unless otherwise provided, majority commences at the age of 18 years old. Ibig sabihin, an, emanci an emancipated minor is one who is not yet a, yo, di pa 18 years old. Ganun lang kadali yun. Okay? Always remember also that emancipation takes place by the marriage of the minor. Okay? Or by recording in the civil register of an agreement in public instrument executed by the parents exercising parental authority. And the minor at least 18 years of age, such emancipation shall be irrevocable. This is expressly provided in your Article 234 of your Family Code. Okay, hindi siya Civil Code. We have separate code for that. Your Family Code. Okay. How about insane or demented person? Okay. Ano pinagkaiba ng insane sa imbecile? Okay. 
Is an imbecile can an imbecile give his or her consent? How about an insane? Remember this one. Okay? This is the role with regards insane person. Puta mo na tayo sa baliw. Okay? Ang insane, baliw. Ang imbecile, isip bata. Okay? Ang insane, if, sino bang kilala niyong baliw? Si Sisa. Okay? Let's just say Sisa. Si Sisa ay kilalang baliw sa El Filipusterismo at saka Noli Metanghere. Okay? Kung si Sisa ay pumasok sa contractual relationship of partnership, contract of partnership during her lucid interval. Ano yung, ano yung sinasabi na naman ni Ma'am na lucid interval? Ano ba tong mga salitang ito? Kaya ano ba to? Ang lucid interval is a period where the person is able to understand okay, the terms or the conditions or wa uh, kumbaga sa Tagalog nasa tamang pag-iisip siya sa oras na yon that is a period lucid l u c i d okay lucid interval ang baliw mayroon kasing mga baliw or insane under the law okay na not all the time they are insane Okay, usually ito yung mga siguro hindi ko hindi ko pa kasi na try mabaliw. Okay? But under the law, if you study the law. Um if a person that's a sisa, nakakausap mo siya nang maayos at that time as pumasok siya, hindi mo alam, lalo na hindi mo alam na baliw siya kasi maayos naman siyang manamit. For example, kas tapos isa siyang English speaking, di ba? Ang dami-daming insane persons na they are good English speak speaking talaga yung ano ni dire-diretso pa yung pag-English nila di ba So you entered into a contractual relationship of contract of partnership with Sisa and you do not know that he, he under medication of insanity siya so may 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 gamot siya na pang ano pang para mabawas-bawasan yung yung mga naiisip niyang ganyan for reason of insa of her insanity. Tapos during that time na pumasok siya sa sa partnership between you and her, nasa tamang pag-iisip siya. E ngayon, nag-boom yung business mo, nagkaroon ng 3 million. Can you raise later on na ay hindi pwede akin lang to kasi baliw naman yan eh. I an insane person cannot give her consent. Can you do that? Okay, under the law, if that person Okay? If that insane person gave her consent during his or her lucid period, that contract is valid. Okay? How about an imbecile? O oh, isip bata? Of course, obviously, okay? Do, uh, insane and imbecile are different. Okay? But what is the rule? Okay? Sim similar rule. Okay? However, usually, ang imbecile Ito yung mga, ano po, uh, 40 years old, they are acting like 6 years old, 7 years old, meron at meron pong mga ganong tao. Can they enter to contract of partnership? The answer there is yes. However, it will be ratified by their guardians. Okay. What is the status of their contract? The answer there is voidable. Okay? Because it will be ratified later on. Next, we proceed with deaf mutes. Okay? Ang mga... Uh, sorry, pero ito ah, kasi sometimes people ginagawang katatawanan ito, pero there are those deaf mutes under the law. Actually, dami-dami ng settled uh, cases favored uh, sa mga deaf mutes, okay? Kasi maraming edukadong deaf mutes, okay? As long as tamang gabay lang po sa mga persons with disability natin. For example, deaf mutes, can they enter into a contract of partnership? The answer is, this is the answer. Okay? As a general general rule, as long as the deaf, deaf mute is able to give his or her consent, okay, he is allowed to enter a contract of partnership. Kailan? Hindi pwedeng pumasok 
sa isang contract of partnership ang isang deaf mute. Okay? That deaf mute, okay, must not know how to write. Okay? So, kung alam niyang magsulat, eh, di, pwede siyang pumasok sa contract of partnership. Ma'am, paano yun kung hindi siya marunong magsulat, pero marunong siyang magsalita? Okay? Alam niya naman mag-oo, hindi. Paano? Okay? Paano alam niya mag-oo, hindi? Eh, deaf mute nga siya. Hindi siya makapagsalita. Hindi siya, eh, parang, hindi ko alam kung ano. Alam niyo yung nagnanad ng head? O, oh, alam niya, yes. O, oh, pag no, yung kabila naman, mag parang, hindi ko kasi alam, nakalimutan ko na bigla ko anong tawag doon. There is nothing he said if yes, and no naman if otherwise. Is that considered under the law? It, the, the the jurisprudence is settled, it's clear. What is needed is that deaf mute, deaf mute in order for him or for her to enter into a contract of partnership must know how to write. Write ang kailangan natin. Okay? Mm, sino yung nag-shopee? Okay? Sa akin ba yung shopee na yun? Ayan. Anyway, okay? Remember that one. Next one is person who are suffering from civil interdiction. Ano na naman tong sinasabing civil interdiction? Mga tao daw po na nagsasuffer sa civil interdiction. Ano ba tong sinasabi nating civil interdiction? Case usually, okay, nangyayari ito doon sa mga uh, taong nagkaroon ng kaso and they are convicted. For example, they are convicted, convicted of estafa and since uh, nakulong na siya okay he when lagi kitong tandaan if you are uh, imprisoned by a staff for example you have two liabilities your civil liability and your criminal liability if okay if nakulong ka na so you already settled your criminal liability pero hindi mo pa nabayaran yung civil liability, that is your civil interdiction. You cannot enter into a contract of partnership. Okay? Even if you already settled, kahit na, okay? so let's just say 10 million, nabayaran mo na, okay? can you enter into a contract of partnership? The answer there is still no. Okay? That is a civil interdiction. Okay? Next one. How about persons who are incompetent? Okay? Incompetent who are under guardianship. Okay? Who are these persons who are incompetent? You read your Article 1327, 1329, Article 34 of your Revised Penal Code, and your Rule 93 to 94 of your Rules of Court. Okay? Ano, ano itong mga sinasabi ko? Okay? Usually, ito yung mga under guardianship, mga nakulong, yung mga baliw, those are enumerated, so kindly read those, okay? How about, this one? Okay, mag-asawa, this is the case of those who are married to each other. Article 1782, okay, those prohibited from giving any donations, of course, they cannot enter into partnership, okay? Except, Okay? Except, meron tayo kasing ano, um, ano ba yan? I-mian. Himahimayin ko muna. Okay? Let's go for first with the those who are prohibited from giving any donations. The example is your husband and a wife. A husband and a wife who are legally married. Okay? Legally married under the law. Kasi meron yung ano, uh, meron yung voidable marriage. Okay? Those who are legally married, they cannot give each other, okay, donations, and of course they cannot enter into partnership as a result there too by provisions of under the law, okay. So that is provided in your Article 1782. Of of course, okay. Remember that there is also the provision of Article 87 of the New Civil Code that every donation. Okay, every donation or grant or of gratuitous advantage, direct or indirect between the spouses during the marriage, shall be void. Okay? So, for example, si 
Ana tsaka si Pedro mag-asawa, okay, legally married, hindi sila, hindi sila pwedeng magbigay ng donasyon sa bawat isa. Hindi rin sila pwedeng mag-enter into partnership. Ma'am, kailan din sila pwedeng magbigay or mag-donate okay, sa bawat isa? They can only donate okay, moderate gifts. Okay? Those that are moderate gifts. Okay? Moderate gifts which the spouses may give each other on the occasion of any family rejoicing. Okay? Pero, naniniwala, baka dito ay doubt. Kasi may mga talagang mayaman. So, mag-ibang level naman yung yaman ng mga example. Yung mga pakyaw. O, ba diba? Eh, chinelas pa lang ni Jinky. Eh, parang, just ko, ewan ko na. Anyway, sige, we proceed. We are done with individuals or those that are biological persons or your so-called natural persons. We now proceed with the... the uh, legal entities or the juridical being okay Who, what is a corporation you, you will find later on in your new corporation god the definition we will proceed later on yan hindi ko na masyadong didiscuss kasi madadaanan niyo naman yan sa finals niyo so so in a corporation i'll just give you a very brief discussion in your corporation okay the doctrine adopted by the supreme court is that Unless authorized by the statute or by its charter, okay, a corporation is without capacity or power to in enter into a contract of partnership. So, madaling sabi, ibig sabi nito, hindi pwedeng pumasok sa isang partnership ang corporation. Ma'am, ano din ang pwedeng pasukan ng corporation? It's joint venture. Okay? What is the reason for such prohibi prohibition? The reason is public policy. Okay? A corporation can enter into a joint venture. Okay? So, what? Ano ba itong sinasabi nating joint venture? Okay? A joint venture is a commercial undertaking po. Okay? By two or more persons differing from partnership in that it relates to the disposition of a single lot of goods or the completion of single projects. Okay? Its duration is limited to the period in which the goods are sold or the project is carried on. Okay? Always remember this. Okay? Mga sec uh, securities and exchange opinion to pero uh, this matters. Okay? Matters. Okay? Where the partnership agreement provides that the two partners will manage the partnership so that the management of corporate interest is not surrendered, the partnership may be allowed. Okay? Lagi na tandaan na. Next one. Element 3. Okay, huwag kayo mag-alala. Mag-date na kayo ng mga boyfriend niya mamaya. Saglit na lang po. Last um, 30 minutes. Okay? 